I think we're gonna start off the run by leveling up Huang Shao. And we're gonna get precision for more range damage for the army and more firing rate. I think this applies to him. I can actually see if it does. Let's look at his stats right now. He's at 760 armor piercing damage. We give him this. 40 okay sweet we've just confirmed that it does apply to generals i should probably go over where we're at territory wise this is us right here we captured all this stuff relatively easily liu bei is still alive well i guess it's guan yu's faction now so i think what i'll do is just not take him out until guan yu puts himself on the field and then hopefully we can capture him and take his weapon another thing that is kind of weird is yuan shao is not trying to invade us we're just gonna set up an ambush with this guy though and hope that yuan shu comes over here because it's kind of annoying the fact that we have to keep this army just chilling in dong it's a full army and we're paying for it like per turn and stuff as far as infrastructure for dong we built this blacksmith which gives us 80 more income from industry then 10 percent more income from industry then 10 percent more replenishment to all units inside dong's territory which is really strong i don't know who to give this serpent spear to like p yuan shout does have a melee buff and he's got relentless for more damage he does get fatigued easier though he's got some more expertise 12 more instinct too that's a lot of instinct which increases melee damage so i think we'll just keep it on him for now and next level he'll have zeal for 40 percent more attack rate and 10 percent more armor piercing damage or we could go for resourcefulness for a flaming shot and we can give him trebuchets we can't yet though because we need more faction rank once we rank up to healed we can do this reform martial arts practice which unlocks trebuchets we're 80 prestige away from healed although if we start capturing territories like we should get there pretty quickly you get prestige really easily from just capturing a lot of territories so i guess we'll just try to do that right now we'll try to get that rank and then we'll try to get some trebuchets on the field i don't know what yuan shao is planning here because he could have gone over the land bridge maybe we just have this guy set up an ambush as well will he attack what is he doing if we can catch him with both of our armies next turn, that'd be really good. So we got this girl invading us, Tao Shang. And we got Yuan Shu invading us as well. We could send our main army back here and try to cut off Yuan Shao. Actually, you know what? We shouldn't move this guy yet. We should see if we can take out Yuan Shao's army with just these two armies. This guy first, I guess, because he's got more units. Oh yeah, we got plenty of movement, dude. We're going to be able to chase him down easy. He's done, though. Oh, he's actually fighting too. We could delegate this. It says Pyrrhic victory. I think we will fight this on the field because they have Wen Shao on the field, who has a decent chess piece. It's not like unique or anything. Yuan Shao is going to be on the field as well, who we should wound. Wen Shu actually we can't wound. He doesn't have resilience. Surprising because he's actually decent. I think this is okay. We're not taking really any damage. Well, we're taking a bit, but it is good that we take out these Saber Cavalry. I think this might be the only unit they have too. Like I'm not seeing they have any other Saber Cavalry Look, or any at all. The enemy run. Oh, also this guy heals and this guy will heal over time as well he heals very slowly it's 19 per second but it actually like you'll look at his hp right now it's not quite full but it'll get full pretty soon the wind shot is actually pretty exposed can we land some shots on him oh they're pissed oh he's getting melted though kind of we do have it on like fast speed but wind shot is almost out of the action okay we're just gonna fight dude <laughs> screw it we're just gonna the send our generals into their range units okay wait this guy has splash damage i keep forgetting all three of these guys have a splash damage attack let's use that on like these g militia i guess we gotta get right in there that's not what we need we need to like charge in there charge in there dude come on you can do it there we go that's good enough splash Yeah, it's actually solid. That's really solid. It does a debuff too that reduces morale by 50 for 20 seconds. You want shout enraged because we killed the other guy, which I didn't mean to kill. We can't get his chest piece now, but oh well. Let's just have everyone focus you on shout, I guess. Besides this guy and this guy. I still want these two guys to splash these units, but then everyone else can focus you on show. We gotta get the charge going on. He charge in. Oh, that's such a weak charge, man. Oh wait, and we got through. Here we go. Big splash. Oh yeah, that's not bad. It's like a little baby Lubu attack. We'll just use this on these guys because they're defenders of Hebe. And they'll probably run after this. Negative 117 morale. Oh yeah, a lot of their units are flashing actually. Yuan Shao won't run. He's unbreakable. But once we take them out, like I think the rest of the units are actually running right now. We should run them down. 
because we're fighting on the field so it's actually beneficial if we finish off their units we got a crappy item <laughs> we got like the wooden fish or something and this guy has brilliant we should probably just execute him because it reduces our ammo by 30 percent if we're fighting him yeah let's just execute this guy even though we could use the income and yeah we wiped out so many of their units post battle that they have barely any units left i think we're just gonna finish off you want shadow though because all he's got is this military geon and he does have this chest piece but he won't drop the chest piece He'll only drop the Geon. It's not really worth, I think. Let's just finish off this army. Guan Yu is attacking our town. We're gonna lose the town probably, but we get another chance to put Guan Yu back on the field. I don't know where he keeps getting all these strategists from. In the video I included where I killed two of Guan Yu's strategists and he replaced those strategists with two more strategists. Okay, she's slipping away. A slippery little strategist. Once he's dead, she's dead. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna run. We should have kited, I think, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, we lost. The whole point of that was literally just to kill the other strategist, which I feel like we could have done if we just fought it better, but whatever. They have another strategist to put on the field. <laughs> Where does he keep getting all these strategists? We'll send this guy over just by himself, and then he'll help us out on this battle. We could bring our other army over here just so we could delegate this. Actually, I want to fight this on the field because I want to kill their generals anyways. I want to kill all three of those generals. One you needs to put himself on the field, needs a man up. How are we not capping this? Okay, knowledge of the mine. AoE. Take heed, warriors. I should use that earlier. Oops. Oh. We finished them off. This is going to suck because we're going to have to run through towers to chase them. They're quick too. We'll try to hit a Hail Mary shot. Can you hit the, the shot? Oh, got her. Oh, we ended up killing today. all three of them. Oh, because they were in the city. Forgot about that. That was a waste of time at the end there, but that's okay. Dude, I swear if Guan Yu has more female strategists hidden at Dong. Now with Gu Yu, we're just going to sweep through Lang Yi and then Peng Ching. And we'll just ignore Dong until Guan Yu decides to put himself on the field. I think we're okay to send in this army to Ping Yan's large town. Because the only people that are over here is Yuan Shu. Yuan Shao, rather. And it, like the Han won't have anyone over here, I don't think. I don't get why the AI does this, where like they will go into a battle where the predictor will even say they lose. Like he initiated this battle. He thought this was a good idea. He's legendary AI. Either way though, I think we'll just delegate. This guy's only worth 200. We'll execute this guy, it but then the we should execute this guy too. He's got two Geon Sword Guard Cavalry. Oh, Gongdu got destroyed. Does that mean he's in our thing? Yeah, he is sick. Let's get Gongdu. And then he's got a general here that's level four as well. Who's got Scare, by the way? He's one-eyed. That's nice. We'll recruit him too. Gongdu is going to be really expensive to put on the field though. But once we do, he's got this move, Killing Ground, which does 7.5k splash damage. I'm assuming that's not like a huge AoE, but it also reduces the speed by 50% and melee attack rate by 20 on whoever it hits. So that's really good for like duels and stuff. His salary is only 25. Whoa, that's crazy. Everyone else is free. Yeah, this guy's free too. Level 4 healer is free. Oh, by the way, we could actually give him a heal right now. 30k heal over 20 seconds. That's crazy because that's more than like anybody's HP. So that's like a full heal basically that you can use every battle. So yeah, in order to put Gongdu on the field, it's going to cost us 4k, which we do not want to pay. We could just kill off one of our dudes though and replace him with Gongdu. We have so many freaking generals now, dude. <laughs> Look at that. And so many people at the court. Oh, this guy unique? Whoa. 10 satisfaction faction wide follower. Holy crap. What a fine, dude. That just fixed our satisfaction problems. Everyone is yellow now except for this guy. And whoa, Yuan Shao's got another army. A full army at Hinai. Okay, that's a bit scary. Yuan Shao will sign peace with us. We should actually take that deal, I think, for now. Because that would make this army go away. Get too many wars. Yeah, I think so. Too many wars. Let's just make peace. This guy's sieging. Can he even win? Ooh, predicts we lose. We have 1159 against his 721. It predicts we lose. Well, that's just not okay. okay this guy's gonna stand near the melee because he can give them a buff. Comrade oh, yeah. is being attacked. They're already about to run. They're flashing. Let's attack these guys now. Why did it predict a defeat? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. Lose 83 units. Like, that. I didn't even fight that that well. Whoa. Chill, dude. You got no units. What are you doing? We're gonna fight this on the field. It predicts a close victory and they have, I mean, okay, they do have some mounted Lancers, which if they do get into our archer line, they could do some damage, but they're not going to. I think they think that these Lancers are worth like this many archers or something. I don't know. Do we lose a single unit? I mean, their generals will do damage, but well, that's Meow. Oh, we gotta kill Meow. So we can put Gongdu on the field. Meow's gonna take one for the team. We can't kill him here though, I don't think. Oh, we, should, we could actually. We could dumb duel. Dumb duel. Rip me out, dude. Okay, these cavalry are about to kill themselves on these. Here we go. Yep, they're dead. 
Yep, they killed themselves. We can run this guy down while they're dueling. And like everyone else is gonna run except for poor Meow. Hopefully we'll get killed. I am out yeah, I think we should. Retreat might be best. Nope, Meow, you're not retreating, buddy. This isn't working. I should fall back. No, it's working perfectly. That's what you don't understand, Meow. RIP Meow. And Xinping just got a huge boost this round. He's going in. <laughs> he's freaking He's gonna fight more people. Okay. Gongdu on the field for free. If we don't get his horseback huntsman or his guardians of the land, which actually aren't all that expensive, but that's okay. Do we wanna go for Anping or Bohai? I think we wanna go for Bohai. Let's just mob that. And we'll go for this guy. Who will probably run. There's no way he's not gonna run, right? He's actually gonna fight. Pyrrhic victory. We're fighting this on the field. If we burn this building, the fire will spread this way and this way and just wipe out their towers and their encampment. And this tower has no range for some reason. It's a really small range. We can actually burn this tower down without getting hit by their towers. We'll chill. Back off. These guys are getting hit. I did not know you could fight this like that. So my commentary on this battle and pretty much my commentary for the entire run has been god awful. Not just for this video, but for part two as well. And when I stream, I just don't do good commentary. For some reason, the enemy sends out five groups of archers just all by themselves and we're able to take them out before the battle even really begins. We then send our bowmen to the other side of the encampment and send fire arrows at this tower, which will eventually spread to their other two towers and burn down all their defenses on this side like we did the other side. We then position our archers right outside their encampment and they just kind of sit there and take a little arrow shower for quite some time and they don't really feel like charging us for some reason. We then send all six of our generals into Mob Taishi C who is one of the more beastly Han generals. He goes down pretty quickly and we're able to finish up the battle very soon after. We chase the wounded Taishi C back into his city and since we did take out one stage of his resilience, all we needed to do now was take him out one more time. This would allow us to capture him and we were then able to execute him. We're gonna release him. Psych. After some turns, we then finally encountered Guan Yu himself on the field, and I thought we were finally going to be able to capture him and take his weapon. After the battle though, we weren't able to capture him as he does have another stage resilience, and unfortunately for some reason his army was completely destroyed, so the AI pulled him off the battlefield yet again. Alright, so doing voiceover over footage I've already recorded is not my favorite, and I was going over my stream footage and it was just kind of all over the place. So let's catch you guys up to speed on where we are now. All the green is us, and we've expanded towards the north west a bit and up here is a bit scary because we got Gong Sung Zan, Zhang Yan, and Yuan Shao all next to us which we already kind of beat down Yuan Shao a bit. However Zhang Yan was going for Zhang Shan and we kind of just yoinked it from him so I don't think he's going to appreciate that. We do have two full armies over here though like we got Gong Du who I did give archers but we did just pick up fanaticism for 10% more melee damage to his retinue and to himself. And speaking of which we actually have an exceptional warglaive that we can give out to someone so we'll just give that to him for now. And then in his army he's got this guy who does have 10% more range damage so I just gave him bowman this guy however does have fanaticism for 10% more melee damage so I did give him some melee and he's kind of like the tanky front line of this army um so that's this army and then this army has this army is actually pretty nuts this guy should have melee units because he does have fanaticism and these two generals have it as well fanaticism also gives plus 5% replenishment to the army because all three of these guys have it that's 15% more replenishment to the army and we're replenishing 35% per turn and this army is going to be kind of like the tanky front line and so we're just going to keep pressing on with these guys towards i don't really know i guess on ping small city i really think that gong sung zan or zhang yan will declare war on us next turn though or at least really soon so we'll just kind of react to what they do with these armies but we got another couple armies pushing on down south down here we got an army full of archers and this guy is about to have focus for 10 percent more range damage same with this girl is going to have a next level and this guy actually won't get it. We might end up giving him melee units when he does get fanaticism. But then we got Gu Yu, who actually does have zeal for 40% more attack rate. He's got focus for 10% more range damage as well. So we gave him archers. P Yuan Shao also does have zeal, which is why we gave him the serpent spear and he's just been holding on to it. We should actually make P the commander because he's got this water clock for 3% more replenishment. And he's got endurance. So when he is commanding, we get 50% less attrition from military supply shortage. Basically, if we run out of supplies, then we'll not suffer as much attrition and we got the bug where it says this general is currently commanding the army even though he's not let's move him outside and hopefully we can rejoin them after and they'll fix the bug our generals for the most part are really happy a lot of them are green faces now 
and some of them are yellow faces, which brings our satisfaction up to high and we get four extra military supplies and 10% less corruption. I think the 10% less corruption will be helpful later on when we do get a lot bigger. And one more thing is that we are currently losing H25 per turn, seeing as we are spending 4.2K per turn for army upkeep. And I haven't really been building up infrastructure at all in any towns. We've just been focusing on rapid expansion and not building up any of our cities, um, at least not yet. So kind of part of the reason why our income is so bad. I don't know if I explained yet the dynamic between the Han and the Yellow Turbans. But essentially when you're playing pretty much any other faction. Oh, Prepare. that guy's going to run. Yeah, he's go, running. Go, go. That wasn't even all of our ammo either. And we got that guy pretty much down to nothing. When you're playing pretty much any faction that's not Yellow Turban, the Yellow Turbans will spawn rebellions in your territory if your public order is too low. But when you're playing Yellow Turban, it's switched and the Han actually spawn rebellions in the territory. So that's essentially what happened here is these guys are just a rebellion because the public order in our city was too low. And I also did give Huang Xiao the upgrade recovery, which is actually such a nice skill. Like I'm able to be much more aggressive with him. And if he takes damage, he will usually heal it up pretty quickly, which is good because our our healers do not have a targeted heal yet which is a really strong ability i don't think i went over it yet but we only currently have one general in all of our armies that does have the targeted heal i would like to get at least one heal in each army and that would allow our generals just to go absolutely ham another thing i didn't go over is that we did get a rank up to healed and we're actually almost at empowered which means we can choose from the next tier of reforms if we research harmonious architecture we get this book of earth which is a unique item and it gives a bunch of nice stuff like 30 percent more food production to the local commandery and so I think we're going to research that first. It also gives us 20% more income from Silk and Spice and unlocks a bunch of buildings that we probably won't be building for now because we just don't have any money. And speaking of not having money, we don't have any money for trebuchets right now. So we're going to hold off on researching them because, yeah, we're now losing 929 per turn. We're about to capture the small city of Penching, though, so that should help a bit with that. We don't currently have trebuchets, so we will have to waste a turn to siege it. But once we do take it next turn, we will get some extra income. And Guan Yu himself is on the field again. I think the plan will be to take Pengqing small city, take their temple, and then sweep back towards Dong and try to figure out how to get Guan Yu on the battlefield outside of his iron mine. Because we need to wound him on the field, then he can retreat back to his iron mine. Up here it looks like Gongsun Zan actually did declare war on us, which is completely okay as long as Zhang Yan doesn't. I don't think we can make it to Anping this turn. Yeah, we're barely not able to. But we'll just bring our other army over here as well, and we'll go for Anping small city, and we'll see what Gongsun Zan decides to do. I don't know where this guy came from. He's attacking our small city. It says heroic victory. So if we do delegate, we will win, but we're going to fight this on the field. Oh, he's not actually attacking us in our city. The AI is really splitting up their units, so we're just going to single out these Saber Cavalry. I don't know if it's just me or like if the AI actually got dumber on this playthrough. They're doing this thing where like they send out their G infantry captains. They send out those Saber Cavalry, and I don't remember them being this weird with their units. They did the same thing earlier where they sent out five archers just for no reason. And here's their main army. Army. We just have so many more archers than them. They use unyielding earth for 100% more melee evasion, but Wisdom of the River counters that and lowers their evasion by 100%. Do we chase this guy down and kill him? I don't think so because he does have master's leather. We could potentially capture him here. Heroic victory, which is actually what the battle calculator said. We only lose 300 and captured both of them. We we'll release this guy for 500, but we will execute this guy for his master's leather, an exceptional chess piece. Now I was confused on what happened in that last battle, like why we got attacked there. Wang Lang was able to make it from his temple over here and he attacked Sang Su in a battle and we were able to reinforce him. I'm assuming that means they have, yeah, they have zero units here at Peng Chang, pretty much. We'll lose a few because of towers if we delegate, but we would have lost a few anyways. Okay, we only lose one. That's way better than what would have happened if we fought that on the field. And we'll in turn and just kind of see what Guan Yu does, even though I'm pretty sure he's going to head over to the town of Taishan, because Liu Bei's faction is just nonstop trying to take that city. Oh, and I called it. He's attacking it. I think I'm just going to hold this capture point as long as I can. And we're going to focus everything on Guan Yu and try to knock him out. If we can do that, then maybe next turn we might be able to somehow get to the Iron Mine. Assuming that's where he does retreat to. Or maybe he'll just keep going. He does have 28k HP though. And his armor has a 30% ranged block chance, which I believe does apply to towers. Yeah, this is probably not happening. All of our melee are fleeing. He's only down to 16k. That was okay. And Dongsung Zan is attacking our large town. We'll just delegate this. 
Even though we could have taken out more than 47 if we just fought on the field. Close victory on this guy. Oh, they got a garrison reinforcing. Oh, wait, we're attacking his temple. Okay, wait, let's starve them out. We'll bring over this army first. Who does not have a heal? And we'll fight on the field because we can use the heal on our generals. We'll use the heal at the end of the battle. Even though I think we could use it now and we wouldn't really waste any of it because it's a 30k heal, which is applied in an AoE. It is 30k total healing, not 30k to each general. Their archer's about to route as well. All right, I think the battle's pretty much over. All right, we got all our generals grouped. We'll use the heal now. It actually topped everyone off. That is so good. And it still had a lot more duration to go too. All right, so we destroyed that faction. Now we're gonna send both of our armies back towards Dong's Iron Mine. And we're gonna try to cut off Guan Yu wherever he goes. And with the Battle of Anping, I think we're just gonna delegate this. We have nearly 4K units and they only have 750. I don't think we should lose too many. I'm guessing like 200. 500 and at the end we have three generals that are low hp when we do have a heal i'm gonna have to fight this on the field dude by the way in the client itself there's a huang shao playthrough and he started on july 23rd which was a day before mine so people probably think that i started my playthrough after him and i was copying his whatever he did i don't know but i did not know that there was like a major person doing this run up to the point where his run is actually being featured in the client like had i known that I would have just done a different run or like finished up my Junjiang run or there's a Ma Ting run I want to do. And in my defense, you guys can see all the Junjiang run practice runs I did. But on the 21st is when I recorded my first Huang Xiao video. I just didn't release the video until the 24th um, and his came out on the 23rd. I don't know. I just want to clear up the possible misconception that like I saw his run in the client and I was like, oh, I'm just going to copy that. Like, no. Mainly the reason why I chose Huang Xiao was I was cycling through leaders that are very hard and I was looking for some that had cool stuff. Like I thought the minus 50 percent upkeep for range units was pretty cool and i noticed the yellow turbines were really cheap so i thought that would make for a kind of an overpowered combo anyway so we will fight this one on the field it said we did lose 500 and our generals lost a bunch of hp but i'm pretty sure we can do a lot better than that this side already has this fort tower destroyed this arrow tower this one and this fort tower is destroyed as well so we're attacking into no towers <laughs> this is gonna be so easy i'm honestly gonna be surprised if we lose more than like 100 units here because the only way we're going to lose the units here is attack. if we do lose units to the archers right now. Okay, these yellow turban warriors actually they just get completely wiped out because they were driving the battering ram into their gate, which we didn't even really have to do. I'm pretty sure we can just sit our archers outside of their gates and snipe at their archers. Like, yeah, these two archers are running already. Um, this one's almost out of ammo. It's going to run soon. I don't know why they're not surrendering yet. They don't have any more units. Or they actually do have one saber cavalry chilling in the middle of their city. Never mind. We're going to combo these guys with all of our AoE. We got like four AoE ready right now. Knowledge. Killing ground. Knowledge. Okay, they're already running. I'm going to guess we lost 60. I'm actually going to guess 93. Oh, I, did, I forgot to heal at the end. Crap. Oh, I said 93. We lost 94. I was only one off. And yeah, our generals, unfortunately are not full HP right now, which they should be. If only I did use the heal. Gong Sing Zan has an army heading towards Bohai. We'll just move this army to reinforce it. And so he's got two armies over here. And this might be a little scary because I think his units might be stronger than ours. We'll just see what he does though. I'm assuming he's going to siege Bohai and bring his main army over there. Opportunity is seldom presented and easily lost. The emperor is vulnerable. Warlords rise to his defense, whilst others cannot resist the lure of power. They stake their claim with steel and blood. In the ever-growing chaos, there is only one absolute truth. China's fate will be forged in war. Oh, we're empowered. That's cool. I've actually never seen that cinematic, so I think I'll just include it in the video. See, so yeah, we got a rank up, and Huang Xiao gets 13,000 XP. And if we research Martial Enlightenment, which is, oh, we get access to all of these reforms now. I have not gone over any of these. There's probably some really strong ones. Martial Enlightenment just unlocks these Scholar Warriors, which are medium sword infantry, and they encourage nearby allies, but they're super expensive, 265 per turn. And with that, we'll in turn, and we'll see where Gong Sung Zan and Guan Yu decide to attack. I'm guessing, okay, Town of Bihai. Guan Yu's nearly at half HP. We might be able to take him out here. So this town's layout is actually really nice. We have towers in the center, that have a 360 degree angle these do as well and then these do as well we're just gonna take our units out of the city and we're gonna make them run through our towers we killed 700 of his units and like i'm not sure if i'm even gonna show the battle because it was gonna be really hard to kill guan yu there like if we did have a general defending it i think we could have 
but with just infantry, it's really hard to outmaneuver their mounted generals. And yeah, they're attacking Bohai. Zhang Yan declared war on us. Oh no, this is what I was kind of worried about. Han Fu will sign peace though. Okay, let's do that. First things first is we'll bring this army over towards Gong Sung Zan. And we'll actually attack him here. Oh wait, we won't get the town's reinforcements because it's under siege. I hope I didn't just mess up there really bad. And can we actually... We can't actually do this. Oh no. I can march over here. Okay, few. To the grand design. Our units are going to be tired, but that's okay. At least this army can join us. And we have 5k units against their 3k. And it still predicts a Pyrrhic victory. I'm not quite sure why. We should definitely stomp them here. And we don't have any more reinforcements, which is okay. I'm pretty sure we can just finish off the rest of them with our generals, who are actually low morale. Wait, why are our generals running? Okay, I don't even understand what just happened. Okay, I don't understand why our generals are running, but... They're running. So the thing that sucks about this battle is that we can't actually put all of our units on the field right away. There's like a limit to how many units we can have on the field. And he puts all of his units out. And also, I think the way morale works is each time one of our unit dies or gets routed or whatever, we lose morale. And so that's why our generals were able to run at full HP pretty much. I've tried to fight this for like 45 minutes. Couldn't figure out a way to win. And so we're just going to delegate this. We did not wound any of them, but we did capture Guan Jing. Did we lose any generals? No, we didn't lose any of our generals they're all really low we lose 3200 units and they lose 2k whatever we'll just take the win if you look at this army's replenishment though we replenish 38 percent per turn so we're gonna get back up to almost full hp in like two turns and their armies are really split off like this guy retreated this guy has no more movement left though so we would just have to chase him down with this army which actually i think is gonna be fine because we have a heal ready and so we can just pop a heal right off the bat and heal up our generals not to full hp for sure but as long as we can just heal up gong do i'm pretty sure we should be able to wipe this guy out oh we get reinforcements from the town and our other army easy now right, we're popping heal okay that did not heal very much we didn't get 30k healing at all there <laughs> their current hps combined is not 30k okay what if i only try healing gongdu and this guy that did nothing again maybe if you heal at the start of the battle it doesn't heal as much we'll wait for a little time to pass and we'll try healing again and we'll try to heal no He actually didn't do anything. Oh, and Guan Yu is actually attacking us. This is perfect because we can snipe him out with Huang Shao. And I'm pretty sure we can kill him from that HP. Let's hit these guys with the knowledge. Might hit Guan Yu with this too. He's getting actually pretty low. Oh, that one's not doing anything at all. Okay, Guan Yu's down. Wait, his army's gone. We killed all of his units, so his army's off the field. We can't do that. And they still have 71 units left. They should still be on the field, hopefully. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, we're we getting attacked by this guy now. It says close to feet, so we have to fight this on the field. We have 1,500, and they only have 750. Like, we should be able to fight this on the field and win this easily. And of course, this time, we don't get to put our healer on the field right away, so we can't use our heal. I just don't understand that. We have this reinforcement deployment zone, so when we do lose units, we'll get more reinforcements to show up. That is the dumbest mechanic. It's a huge nerf to yellow turbans, because the whole point of them is that they outnumber their opponents. Maybe there's a way to change that in, like, the options or something. I'm just going to try to combo Gong Sun Zan here with all of our generals really fast. The enemy general is falling. There's one dead. No and he enraged? Oh no. Ready. Okay, we lost the general. Kong Du's now gone. <laughs> Alright game, we've lost a lot of units already. Can we uh, get some reinforcements now? Mainly our other general that has a heal. That'd be really nice. One knowledge of the mind should be enough to lower his morale down to a good amount. Oh, and we're flashing. Okay. And we're running. Yeah, great. Yeah. Cool game. Like this mechanic is actually so dumb. It makes me not even want to play yellow turbans because the game punishes you for outnumbering your opponents when yellow turbans are all about numbers, not strength. Like their units are completely crap and they have terrible morale, but they can outnumber their opponents. Just in terms of like the game though, like can anyone please explain to me why I can't just have my other general on the field who has a heal from the start, which would be awesome because then I could heal my generals, which I mean the 30k heal doesn't even work properly. doesn't actually even heal. It did heal a little bit though. Like it didn't heal 30k, but it did heal a little bit. And if we could heal right now, we could just go right in on Gong Sing Zan. But as it is now, our generals are so low that we can't actually go in on Gong Sing Zan. Where's Gong Du? Okay, Gong Du's on the field for now. We do have our healer though. 
which should give us a bit of healing. We got Gong Du right away this time because I focused him with the units and like I just hit him with knowledge of the mines right away. The way I feel right now is like I don't even know if I care about winning this battle because the way the game mechanics are working where like it doesn't put all of our units on the field is just so annoying. And like if the game punishes you for playing a Zerg for literally no reason, then I just won't play a Zerg, I guess. And, like it looks like we're gonna win this, like their units are flashing. Some of our units are flashing too, but like all their melee are down now. Oh, I'm just so annoyed though, dude. Like the heal not working and then not all of our generals going on the field at the same time is just so annoying. Triumphs over brute. 2k for that. That was actually not 2k. That was 3,600 income for that. I looked under options and there's no way to change it. Like there's no option under interface. Like there's nothing that I can click on to change how many units are allowed on a battlefield. And I think the real problem with this is like, say I bring these two armies over here and we have like 8k units. We'll only be able to put out like 4k of them on the field at one time. And the thing about the way the battles work is that say we lose those 4k units, our other 4k will not even be able to come out on the field because our generals will all be at such a low morale because we just lost 4k units. And the way morale works is it doesn't matter how many units you have. Every time you lose a unit, you lose morale. So like you could outnumber the opponents 4,000 to 50, but your units could still run out of morale because you just lost too many units. At least that's the way it worked in my battle earlier when I lost the battle I should have won. I don't know, yellow turbines just really don't feel good to play for that reason. Like, yeah, they're strong. And also like WTF is this court. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 generals at our court. Not to mention we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 generals on the field. So we have a total of 32 generals. Like WTF is going on anymore. I don't know. I get people like the yellow turban play style, but I'm just super annoyed at this point. I don't think they're going to put Guan Yu on the field because I'm pretty sure he was wounded or is he not? If they put him on the field, this is actually good. We can definitely kill him and take his weapon. The lowered his HP too. Is that 2.1? Okay, he's actually flashing. He actually is going to run, I think. Is it negative five morale? Negative eight? Negative 99. Okay, he's running. He surrendered, please. We <laughs> didn't capture him, dude. I'm so done. I'm so done, dude. How do we not capture him? Like, what happens to him? Like, he just vanishes. He's not even dead. Wait, he's actually dead. Well, rip Kwan Yu's weapon, guys. It just vanishes, which is another mechanic in the game that I don't quite understand. Like, why the weapons just vanish in a thin air? Why you can't just capture generals when you take out their armies? Like, and I know at this point I'm just complaining about literally everything, but that's just kind of the point I'm at right now. Where like every little thing has added up to the point where I'm just so done right now. Cause it's like one thing, two things here and there. Like I can look past, you know, like you guys didn't hear me complain really at all, any of my other playthroughs. But on this playthrough, it's just, there's so many things that have added up to the point where I'm just so done right now. Oh god, it's so hard though, you guys. Like, I've tried so hard to remain positive, and it's just... I think I'm gonna take a break from Total War for a little bit. It's one of those things where I would just cut all this whining out, but you guys would be like, oh, dude, you're just abandoning another playthrough. Like, why are you just abandoning another playthrough? Like, and so I feel like it is necessary to include all this so you guys know where I'm coming from. And, like, we're not even doing bad right now. Like, we captured a ton of territories. We're getting 3v1 over here by Zhang Yan, Gong Zhang Zhan, and Yuan Shao, which, like, the mistake was I should have finished off Yuan Shao when I could have. And I should not have gotten to this position where, like, I'm separated from the main territories. But yeah, I don't know guys, like if this video gets an obscene amount of likes, maybe I'll just finish it. Even though I feel like a lot of people are already turned off because of the negativity. I think I just need to do some other stuff to put things into perspective. And with that, I will end the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.